and welcome back to Reading Time with CJ. I hope you're having a fantastic day and thank you for joining me so that we can read more books together. Are you ready to see what's in my magic bag of books? That's right. Wow, girls and boys, look at this. Stanley and the Class Pet, written and illustrated by Barney Salzberg. Most of the students in Mr. Winger's room had taken the class pet home for the weekend. Stanley Birdbaum's dream of the day when it would be his turn. Finally, one Friday, Mr. Winger chose Stanley. Meet Fidgy, Stanley said to his mother. I'm not much of a bird fan, she replied. Fidgy is your responsibility. Don't worry, said Stanley, I'll take care of him. At bedtime, Stanley read seven of his favorite books to Fidgy. Get that bird out of your bed, said his mother. We're having a sleepover, said Stanley. He can sleep over there, she told him. The next day, Larry Finchfeather came over. He and Stanley played with Fidgy. Larry told Stanley that Fidgy looked like he could use some exercise when he should let him out. Now, that, said Stanley, does not sound like a great idea. Come on, said Larry. Fidgy's been cooped up in a cage. He's a bird with wings. He isn't supposed to sit around all day. Fidgy needs to fly. I still don't think that sounds like such a great idea, said Stanley. You worry too much, said Larry. Larry Finchfeather counted as Stanley unlatched the door to the cage. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take off! Fidgy just sat there. The bedroom door opened. Snack time, announced Stanley's mother. Fidgy flew from his cage and right out Stanley's room. Stanley and Larry ran into the living room just in time to see Fidgy fly through an open window, up into the air and out of sight. You probably shouldn't have opened the cage, said Larry. I told you I didn't think it was such a great idea, said Stanley. Then you probably shouldn't have listened to me, said Larry. I have to go home now. I can't believe I just lost the class pet, Stanley thought. Poor bird, Fidgy, he called. Fig, Fig, Fidgy, you can come home now, please. There was no sight of him anywhere. Larry Finchfeather made me lose Fidgy, Stanley complained to his mother. When, Fid when he got home. Whose responsibility was it to take care of Fidgy, she asked. It was his idea to let him out. Did you say no, asked his mother. Not exactly, said Stanley. Could we move to New Zealand? He called Polly, Otis, Anita, and William. Stanley hoped it would be easier to face everyone at school if a few of his friends knew he had lost a class pet. Larry Finchfeather was waiting for Stanley the next morning. I probably shouldn't have begged you to let Fidgy fly, said Larry. I should have said no, said Stanley. Stanley told Mr. Winger he was sorry he had Fidgy fly away. Larry apologized and said it was all his idea. I know how hard it must be for both of you to tell me this, said Mr. Winger. Mr. Winger decided that the students should talk about the things they would miss about Fidgy. I'll miss the way he hardly ever blinked his eyes, said Stanley. I'll miss the noise he made in math class, said Larry. It sounded like we need to find a new class pet, said Mr. Winger. Any ideas? How about one that swims, says Polly, or one that has a shell, said Otis. One that slithers, said Anita. One that hops, says William. We could have four class pets, said Larry. Now, 
Now that, said Stanley, sounds like a great idea. Well, girls and boys, what a fun book. Do any of you girls and boys, did you guys ever had any class pets in your classrooms? Please, I would love to know. And you can let me know in my comment box below on what kind of pets you might have had and let me know how that went. All right, until we see each other next time. And if you'd like to purchase this book so that we can read together again, you can find the link in my description box below. Thank you so much for reading with me. Until we see each other next time. Bye-bye.